What's going on, folks? I am back. I got a new computer, a whole new setup here. All I need is a new camera, but that's where you got to click and subscribe. Support this brother. Give me the HBO special. Help your brother out. What are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about why is it that hookups tire you out, okay? This is coming from my own philosophy, but I've also taken inspiration from the Kabbalion and some meta stuff that I've uh, researched and read about, as well as my own experiences. So we're going to talk about hookup and why it leaves your gas tank, that is your energy, on E. Let's get to it. Now, here's the thing about hookup culture, uh, being in a hookup situation, friends with benefits, whatever you want to call it. It is, if you really look at it, it comes from a place of selfish energy, right? This means, hey, look, I don't want anything from you, but I do want something from you, right? Up to a point. And you don't need to expect anything too heavy from me, right? So it's almost like this, well, we're gonna go do the red box type of dating. I'm, I'm gonna get that DVD, I'm gonna watch the movie, and then I'm just gonna return it back. I'm not here for the entire series, okay? I'm not here for, I'm not signing up for the monthly membership, if you wanna look at it that way, right? So you gotta realize that hookup culture is selfish, and I don't mean that selfish has to be a bad connotation. Sometimes you have to serve yourself in order to better serve others, whether that's your friends, your family, or eventually when you get a partner that you do want to invest more in. So keep in mind that regardless what they say, regardless if they say, oh, at least this person is being honest with me, at least we're being transparent, it comes from a selfish place, whether that's good, bad, or ugly. Now, with that said, as we know, there is the advantage of freedom that comes from a hookup, right? You know that you don't have to have any kind of expectations. You don't have to have a, a, a contract, right? Even if it's informal of what you're looking for from that other person. It's very basic, right? As long as you're being transparent, you're keeping it real with me. I'm just trying to find myself, right? These are some of the keywords that you use that disguise the intent of a, of a hookup, of a friends with benefits situation. So you got to keep in mind that that is the advantage, is the sense of freedom and the lack of responsibility and commitment. Now, this is the meat and potatoes of what I'm trying to get into is that when you go through a hookup, right? Let's say that you meet someone on Tinder, Bumble or Hinge and you meet them on a Monday and you say, you know what? Let's link up on a Wednesday and link up does not mean full on dinner. We know what we're talking about here afterwards you may have had fun in that moment okay but if you're a person of character you're a person that is even an empath like you totally can feel your own energy afterwards you can not all the time but you can feel empty inside yes you had a, a rush of endorphins you got your libido out the way you know you you took care of that that nutty nut right that slizzy but you could possibly feel empty because again it comes from selfish energy and the other person's gonna wonder, well, you know what? I got no respect for them. They more likely do this all the time. Even if you are this person who has been meaning well, who's been in these, these committed loving relationships and you decided, I just wanna hook up. I just want something different. That other person and you in some ways have lost respect for each other. Now, granted, there is a possibility there are outliers that you could be in a relationship. You could end up emotionally bonding after that experience, but the chances are slim if things come quick, literally and figuratively. So after the hookup phase, right, directly after, what ends up following is a sense of loss, a, a sense of emptiness, a sense of even feeling used. But you gotta remember, this is a projection of you you feel like you use yourself. It's not the other person. You decided to put yourself in this predicament and now you're feeling, you're feeling anxious. You're feeling depressed. Again, you're feeling that, that sense of loss, mental fog. And this is all due to that hookup. Again, an experience like that, where there's not that bond is going to lead to almost like an emotional vampire and you're pulling their energy they pulled your energy without that emotional bond which is the glue that prevents that from happening 
But again, since you use each other, you feel empty and your gas tank is on E. Now, what I recommend if you feel this way, you need time to recharge alone, okay? You need to collect your thoughts. You need to collect your energy, whether that's through exercise, meditation. You need to absorb the guilt if you do feel guilty. If you don't, then again, you're gonna be numb to it, which minimizes the chances that you'll get into some emotional bond with someone because you're slowly killing that energy of wanting to pair bond with someone. So again, take some time to recharge. Uh, the act, if you know what I'm talking about, is very intimate. It's something that requires a lot of energy, not just physical energy, but all that flight and, and, and flee type of energy is now being shared with someone, even if you're turned on, even if you're excited. So first off, just recharge, okay? You need to be by yourself. This doesn't mean out of cowardice, you replace it with drinks and then rinse and repeat another hookup, right? Wednesday you had your hookup and then here comes Friday and Saturday and you back at it again because you still haven't dealt with recharging from Wednesday, all right? And all you're doing is slowly killing that emotional bond, that, that other gas tank for you to be cherished, for you to be respected by someone else and for you to cherish and respect someone else. All right, for some of these men out here who are listening to us, you might think, oh, he's being a little too sweet. What, what you wanna do? You wanna get to the point where you can't raise it up anymore and then you're just this empty shell of yourself? Or do you wanna be like, hey, I do my dirt every now and then, but I'm still a person of character that can bond with the right person. What do you wanna do? So I alluded to something, which is that after a while, you can feel empty. You can feel like you're not worthy of love, but again, you need to take accountability for the continued energy suck that is hookup culture. I am not saying don't hook up. I'm not saying don't have your little adventures. What I'm saying is be aware of your own gas tank that is your energy, your spirit. There's some people out there that can add to your spirit in these situations, and then there's some that are succubus. They're there to drain your energy, even if it was one night. But it takes two, it takes two to tango, and it takes two to either restore your energy, to add to it, or to lose it because you came from a place of being selfish. All right, so all I'm saying is, if you don't watch this, after a while, you're gonna permanently, permanently feel unworthy based on temporary actions that have added up. And that's the risk between hookup and long-term. When it comes to hookup, you have the sense of freedom and no commitment. When you are cherished and you're in a relationship, you're gonna give up some freedoms, right? You no longer can, can walk around the house uh, in your box of briefs and just watch whatever you want on Netflix, especially if it's a blended family or kids are involved, right? You gotta fix that light bulb because a woman says, hey, this is the man in the house. He claimed he is, so what's up? And then you're, as a woman, you're gonna think, okay, I need to cook some meals because this guy works 16 hours I'm working a part-time, right? Again, I'm not saying everyone's the same. Some men like to cook, some, some women like to, to walk around in the dude's box of briefs, right? My point is that you're gonna lose some freedom when you're in a long-term situation, right? But then that requires a little bit of work. It requires commitment. A lot of us nowadays, we don't wanna put in the work. We know it's too easy to get into hookup, but we forget the consequences. We forget that we are going to feel a little bit empty inside after a while. And then this thing we really wanted, next thing you know, we're 60, 70 years old at the retirement home thinking, dang, we finally figured that out, okay? So again, you do you, but just be aware. Be aware of that second, third order effect of what happens and how hookup energy can be taken from you due to a temporary situation. And something I've been harping on is that selfish energy. Do you really want to feel like a commodity? Right? We're in this age where now we're promoting for people to monetize their goods, monetize their looks. But yet we're having people that are unaliving themselves due to that same culture where they treat themselves like a commodity, like an object. This is both men and women. So you got to remember that. Do you want to just follow the culture and follow the fad? Or do you want to watch your own energy to make sure that you serve yourself? Not while you're still young, but for life. Okay, our spirit and our energy is very intertwined. It can evolve like a wave in the ocean. You can either disrupt it, 
the good way, or you can disrupt it and flatline it in a very negative way. I hope y'all enjoy that video. I really do. But let me talk to you a little bit about me real quick, real quick. So I am certified in neurolinguistic programming, cognitive behavioral therapy. And what I enjoy the most is working with clients. If you're just in the YouTube world seeing me, you might think, okay, all he does is videos. No, my primary passion is to work with clients. And then I got this YouTube thing going. So if you're looking for someone who can take research, scientific methods and techniques to better your life, whether it's dating, communication skills, social skills, trauma healing, learning how to meditate the right way, learning how your online profile needs to really snap and grab attention, hook it up with me, okay? Go to the website, you see it right here ask for Chris and boom, we can get a session going. Let me know, mention YouTube and I'll throw 20% off that easy because guess what? You're supporting me and I'm here supporting you to support you. It's that easy. So hope you liked the video. This is Chris, the dating doc signing out. Peace.